The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, says despite the very difficult circumstances caused by COVID-19, Nigeria's economy has continued to sustain its growth. The minister made this note when she appeared before the Senate Committee on Finance to speak at a five-day interactive session on the 2023-2025 to medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper, while reiterating that the subsidy will remain in place until mid-2023, Ahmed said the federal government is proposing an aggregate expenditure of 19.76 trillion naira for the 2023 financial year with a projected deficit of 11.30 trillion naira earlier in his opening remarks chairman senate committee on finance adiola Solomon decried the level of proposed deficit of the 2023 budget the nigerian economy has continued to sustain its growth since the last recession in Q3 of 2020. We have witnessed so far five quarters of consecutive growth with the second quarter 2022 posting a growth of 3.54% in real terms compared to 3.11% in the previous quarter of 2022. Most sectors are reporting positive growth. The broad-based growth reflects the effective implementation of the economic sustainability measures that have been carried through by this government with the support of the National Assembly. Like many other economies in the world, our economy still faces these lingering challenges of the COVID-19, as well as the higher food and fuel prices due to the Russia-Ukraine war. Nigerian uh, government expenditure is largely funded by non-oil revenues. So for 2023, the oil revenue sources are contributing 23.6% to the government budget. On the need to reduce government's yearly budget deficit, resulting in massive borrowing from local and international sources, it is this wise that the committee frowned at the projected 12.41 trillion budget deficit contained in the 2023-2025 MTEF FSP and the alarming projection of known provision of Treasury-funded MDS capital project in 2023. This scenario is unacceptable, and we must find ways to drastically reduce the deficit, this humongous figure. 